Hi, this is Chuck Davis from the QuickRef Support Group, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use QuickRef from ISPF Edit, and we're going to take a look at JCL syntax. When you think of how to use QuickRef, the thought of looking up JCL syntax may not come to mind, but it should. Here we'll see how QuickRef can be used to assist us with our JCL. I have a set of JCL in member demo 2, and it needs to be tailored. We want to put a condition parameter on step PS20. And if the first step, PS10, ends with a return code of zero, we want step two to execute. But if step PS10 ends with any other return code, we do not want step two to execute. Now to say that the condition parameter is a little tricky is an understatement. I've been using MVS JCL for 34 years and I still have trouble remembering if the uh, con parameter evaluates to false, does it execute? Or if it evaluates to true, does it execute? Let's look up the JCL to be sure we code it correctly. To do this, we want to use cursor driven invocation and we need to have the um, parameter we want to look up. So I'm going to put the cond equal parameter in there and then we're going to use cursor driven invocation by hitting PF23 which is shift PF11 and we're going to look at the cond parameters. Now the first one is the one we want because it is JCL syntax for the execute. So we bring it up and we read it. I assume you could read it so I won't insult your intelligence by reading, but I will point this out. If none of the test is satisfied, the system executes the job step. So if the test evaluates to a false, if it's not satisfied, the system executes the job step. If the test is satisfied or if it evaluates to a true, the system skips the job. So false, execute, true is skip. With that in mind, we're going to hit F4 to go back to our JCL. And we're going to come up with a scheme here that will be false if return code, whoops, let's try that. So if the return code from PS10 is equal to a zero, zero is not equal, that will be false and this step will be executed. I think that's what we want. So in summary, we needed to look at JCL syntax. And the S Quick Ref gives you the information that you need at your fingertips.